G'day, welcome to Mad Scientist Prospecting. My name's Stuart Chignall, and this is the introductory video to a series that I'm doing called The Fluid Dynamics of Prospecting. I've been really looking forward to this video series uh, because I've been really looking forward to sharing my knowledge of fluid dynamics that I have from the aquaculture industry and, uh, as it, and applying it to prospecting. I'd just been waiting on one more thing to come and fall into place before I got started, and it's now here. And that's my lab coat. Now the reason this is important is because research has shown that when a speaker is wearing some sort of symbol of authority, then the people that are listening are more likely to learn. Let's just say you're a prospector and you didn't finish high school. You're gonna find this stuff relatively easy to understand compared to what you might have struggled with at school because more research has shown that if anyone is trying to learn something about which they're passionate, their IQ goes up by at least 20 or 30 points. So what, you might have struggled with mathematics in school and algebra and physics and so on, don't worry about that. You might have to put some work into it, it might not come easily, but you are gonna be able to understand this thing for stuff for two reasons. One, you're gonna be more intelligent while you're doing it because you, it's gonna be about prospecting and you obviously love prospecting, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. And secondly, I'm gonna take the time to explain it. And if that means I've gotta take more time in answering questions or doing more videos or take it slower, then I'll do that because I wanna bring as many people along because there's a lot of guys out there who are sharing some really, really good information on how to find gold. The problem is they're getting the physics wrong. And that means that while their information is very, very good, it could be a lot better. Damn it! Yes, Kristen. Hello, he's having CJ. Can I give him a dose? Yes, and I'll be right back. All right, do you want me to call an ambulance or? If you think it's warranted, yes, absolutely. In fact, if you're asking the question, yes. Okay. Your call, bye. The other reason this has been a bit challenging is because my boy keeps on ending up in hospital. So I'm going to cut this intro for, um, short. I don't know what I was saying just then, but um, you can learn this. You really can. And I'm going to help you do it. Uh, and look, I hope you enjoyed the first video. i got to go now. Bye. He's been pretty good lately. But... <laughs> And when he has a seizure, everything's got to stop. On the other hand, it does give me a lot of time to think and plan and, you know, just a bit hard to get anything actually, you know, done. Uh, but the last thing I want to say before I finish this intro is that as much as I'm willing to take the extra time to explain stuff as you, as you guys need it, uh, I'm not going to model mollycoddle you either. You know, I, I, you have to learn the language. You have to learn, learn the vocabulary. That's part of what you need, of, you need to learn and that I w want to teach you. And that's so that you can take the information that I'm giving you and then go and read an article or a textbook on fluid dynamics to take it further. That when you're talking to people online or an engineer or, or scientist in person and they, they're using a whole range of words that right now you don't know, you know, a few months from now, once we've gone through stuff, you'll understand the language. And in understanding the language, you'll be able to take things further than I can take you. And uh, that's a big part of teaching, is that the, te the students should be able to go further than the teacher. So let's go watch that first video and have fun. <laughs> 